Hi, welcome to this quick session on understanding compulsorily convertible debentures. One of the most asked questions by founders is, how do I value my startup? With very limited data during early stages, valuing a startup becomes very challenging, especially when there is no revenue or operating history. How can we tackle this challenge? How do we raise money without worrying too much about valuation? The answer to that is convertible instruments. Convertible instruments such as CCDs, convertible notes, etc., give us the flexibility to raise money by not defining the valuation right away. In case of convertible instruments, valuation gets defined based on a future event, which typically is the next round of funding. Right now, we are going to focus on CCDs. In a CCD structure, the investment comes predominantly in the form of debt or what we call as debenture. This debt gets converted into equity based on future rounds of funding. The question is, how much equity? Well, this depends on the next round of valuation. The conversion of debt into equity happens at a certain discount to the next round of valuation that you are going to get. So let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's say you raise one crore of funding in the form of CCD as your first round of funding. This one CR will reflect in your books as debt. 12 months later, your startup raises, let's say, second round of investment at a valuation of 10 CR. At this stage, the CCD will get converted into equity. How will the CCD get converted into equity? Let's understand that. A 20% discount will be applied to the 10 CR valuation offered to you by your second investor. This gives us a valuation of around 8 CR. Now, the first investor will convert one CR of investment, which is currently in the CCD form in equity, thereby taking 12.5% stake in your venture. Now, what if you don't raise a round of capital in the next three years? Then there is a floor valuation of 4 CR, which is predefined number. So when one CR gets converted at a floor valuation of 4 CR, you will end up giving 25% stake to the investor. Now, let me ask you a quick question. Let's say PDUIC invests 25 lakhs in your venture in the form of CCD with a 25% discount to the next round of funding. And we've set a floor valuation of 4 CR. 18 months later, you raise second round of capital from some other investor at a valuation of 16 CR. How much stake will PDUIC get on conversion of CCD into equity? You can put your answers in the comment section. Stay tuned for more videos on understanding of various concepts of funding and venture building. Thank you.